Okay, Mary Kostakidis. Thank you, Trevor. Uh, my question is to the attorneys, just with respect to how this case might impact on the UK and their ability to extradite him. I'm just wondering whether you have any idea how long this case will run and when you would expect a decision. And secondly, I'm sure that this isn't lost on anyone, the parallels with Dan Ellsberg. And I was wondering if you might go into that a little bit to talk about the direct parallels, but where this case might differ to Ellsberg's as well. I can handle the first portion of that. I'm not sure, Margaret, if you can handle the second. But I would say to you that this process, obviously, the U.S. court system is not quick. Uh, federal court is quicker than state. COVID did not help that. But this process, we're hoping to move it quickly. We're hoping that within a year at most, if not earlier, we will have a judge immediately and we'll get this. Uh, we want to get this. <laughs> There's a lot riding on this lawsuit, as well as a lot riding on Julian Assange's current status. So I can speak to that. As far as the comparing it to the to the Ellsberg lawsuit, Margaret, is that something you can handle? Yes. I think that we all agree that this indictment is really an, an attempt to overrule that case. That case provided for the press to be able to print documents that were under some kind of private uh, government seal whether it was top secret, not top secret, but any information that the government didn't want out came out and could come out. And that is still the law today. Um, but it's obvious to us that the government is not happy with that law and would prefer to have that case overruled. Thank you for that. I was thinking specifically of the fair trial issue and the breach of confidence, the fact that they broke into Dan Ellsberg's psychiatrist's office, and here you've got Julian Assange's lawyer's material being sent to the CIA. So do you feel, do you have a sense that the case is as, that part of the case is as strong, and are there differences that we might know about? The issues here um, have not been raised by Julian Assange and cannot be raised by Julian Assange until he is here, until his trial begins, um, if he's extradited. We can only raise it in our context as our rights were violated. There is no way for Julian to raise the violation of his rights at this time. Bob, could you also weigh in on that? Things are gonna happen as we proceed. This civil case will proceed to discovery. Hopefully more information will come out. Whether that information shows serious intrusions into the defense camp as we allege, and as we have strong reason to believe from the Spanish courts, it may very well have an effect on the criminal prosecution or the extradition proceeding. But right now, we're in the stage of this particular case is brought by the people who were aggrieved by the unreasonable searches and seizures that occurred when they simply visited this man in prison and attorneys who were doing their job. That's what this case is about. Mary, does that answer your question? It is yes, a way, it does. It is a way, though, of drawing attention to one aspect of the way that government misconduct, US government misconduct started with this case with Julian. And there are many other examples of it, but we can't really raise that. In fact, we can raise it with the public and we can try to convince the Justice Department that this is not a good case to continue with. It is not good for them to continue the extradition proceeding because this is not a good case for them to try. Yes, sorry, just one other thing. Uh, however, when you do get a decision, if it is in your favour, that decision could be used by Julian Assange's lawyers in the United Kingdom in that case, I presume. Certainly. Uh, I, I think that's a very fair presumption. Uh, one of the things we ask for is not only money damages, but we've asked the CIA to, to destroy and or return everything it has. So yes, this could have very 
far-reaching consequences to the British proceeding. Thank you.